Hi Taurus, welcome to How I Love Tarot. This is a love reading from now, which is mid-September, all the way through the end of October. So this is about a six week reading for you. For those of you that follow my channel, you know that I do not do frequent love readings. And however, you know that I like giving you a love reading, Taurus. You know, you're one of my favorite signs to read for. So what I have, uh, so, we have lots of different layers of this reading that was actually coming out even as I was pulling the cards. So we have the Romance Angels and we have the Rumi cards. And Spirit, I need you to bring forward the energy of both the Romance Angels um, and when to bring it forward, as well as the Rumi cards for Taurus. And as they're doing that, Taurus, I'm gonna start with what is in your present position in regards to love. So what we have here is the Four of Swords in the upright position. We have the Hanged Man in the reverse position, and we have the High Priestess in the uh, upright position. Spirit, can you tell me why these cards are here for Taurus? What's going on with the Four of Swords in the upright, the Hanged Man in the reverse, and the High Priestess in the upright position. Bring it forward clearly. What's going on with Taurus in their present position? Taurus, as they're also, and they're blending with my energy right now, as they are doing that, let me just add this for those of you that have never seen me before. If this present position doesn't resonate with you, what could be happening is you're watching the reading too early. What I recommend is that you come back at the end of October and re-look at this reading. So put it in a playlist, come back to it. If this present position doesn't make sense to you, no need to go on with the rest of the reading. If at the end of October you look at the reading and it still doesn't make sense to you this present position this is definitely not your reading no need to move forward spirit bring it forward the four of swords what's going on here with taurus taurus you're letting go taurus you're letting go you've been in hibernation um with your heart it looks like it looks like for a very long time you've been stuck in a dynamic and in a situation that has prohibited you from seeing things from a different perspective um that is a very physical energy that i'm picking up for you and i'm god i haven't gotten this in a reading in a long time <laughs> taurus um i'm feeling the heat i'm feeling the heat which if you have been looking at my readings from the beginning um when i get all heated up in a reading and i get really hot that indicates love so there is love here in this reading so um, what's happening here is that you've been in a uh, situation that requires a different level of thinking about things. But because of the uh, healing that you have had to do over a long period of time, you have not been, your, your heart has not been open, it's not been ready. Um, and mentally you have been trying to get there mentally I can see that with the hangman in the reverse position that that's what that indicates right the hanged man in the reverse position indicates the fact that you um, are trying to get to a new perspective you know you need to think about things differently you're working on doing that but what's causing the inability to do that is the history that you've endured that is very very painful that you've had to reconcile within your knowing in order to move forward but what's interesting about the present position is the high priestess so spirit can you bring that forward um, why is a high priestess here with the hanged man in the reverse? Tell me more. Uh, they are drawing me to a roomy card. You are switching into the high priestess energy. This one, spirit. So the roomy card says empathy attracts us to each other, not words. So something has happened in your life, uh, Taurus, that is creating um, a lot more, uh, the way I wanna, the way I feel it, the way that it's feeling for me, is that there's been a lot of self-blame going on. Um, when you look back at the painful situations, the disappointments, the, the sadness in regards to relationships that you've dealt with in your life, 
um, even loss of relationships. And I want to go as far, <clears throat> excuse me, Taurus. Um, I want to go as far as even talking about uh, loss of friendships, meaning in death. Um, or loss of loved ones in death, because that's the energy coming forward to, because it's that level of pain. Now, death in a relationship could also signify um, a profound end in a relationship. So for example, divorce, uh, that's a profound end, and it is uh, like a death, right? It is grieving the end of a relationship. It's grieving the end of the life as you knew it. It's also grieving the end of the dreams that you thought would play themselves out in your life. And so what's been happening in the present position is that it shows here that you have not had a lot of um, empathy and uh, for yourself. It feels as if that you have pointed the finger at yourself as you were self-reflecting. So I feel that even though, you know, we should all do that, we should all take responsibility for when a situation ends. We can't just point our fingers to the other person, even though it is obvious maybe that the other person has caused the demise. But, you know, um, when a relationship comes to an end, the healthy way of looking at it is you also self-reflect. Nonetheless, I feel that for a long time here, when you were self-reflecting, there was a lot of maybe old uh, conditioning that occurred in your self-reflection. So there was a lot of negative self-talk. There was a lot of kind of rubber banding back into this kind of, I'm a horrible person, I'm not good enough, I'll never be good enough, there must be something wrong with me. You know, I try so hard, I do everything that I can, I bend over backwards and still, still it's never enough, so therefore it's gotta be me. Something like that is happening in your thinking but it's changed and here we have the high priestess. And so we have empathy attracts us to other others, not words. So there is somebody around you that has helped you to come out of this kind of self deprecating self talk and is now making that transition into self reflection with a lot more, um, what's the word Taurus? Sensitivity. So not being so harsh with yourself and not taking so much blame. Because self-reflection is not about blame. Self-reflection is also not about um, looking to see uh, what you did wrong, right? It, it, how, what am I trying to say, Taurus, here? Self-reflection, spirit, give me the words, give me the words here, please. Empathy attracts us to others, not words. Um, so it was the words of the self-talk that was so harsh, but it feels as if the love of somebody else around you, and that could be anybody, right? That could be mother, father, brother, sister. It could be friend. It could be um, a new love interest. It could be anybody, but they're not using words. They're using actions. And so their actions towards you are helping you to have self-acceptance and to neutralize the negative thinking that you have about yourself because they're actually challenging through their behavior towards you that you're not this horrible person, that maybe you're not completely to blame. Maybe um, whoever you were with, uh, it was just a, not a good fit. Maybe it was the wrong match. Maybe the two of you had outgrown each other. Maybe the two of you should never have gotten together. So they're helping you just by their actions, not by their words, look at you, uh, look at, help you to self-reflect in a much different way, in a much more intuitive way. And that's why we have the high priestess. So you're actually using your inner knowing now to self-reflect and that is really creating a lot of movement within your energy in the present energy um spirit uh, I'm, I'm just going to go over the romance angel cards and the roomy cards so spirit can navigate when they want me to bring them forward this card right here taurus was when i pulled this card this was the first card that i pulled for you and it was free yourself and it says, 
it's time to take back control of your life. And if you look at it, it's a goat in a cage and the goat is imprisoned in that cage and they don't have room to run they don't have room to move they don't have room to be themselves and so here that this came through so strongly out of every single card that i pulled there was another card that came out just as strong and i'll tell you about that in a minute but this card is extremely powerful so you're in the mindset right now of freeing yourself um freeing your the limitations you've put on yourself with how you think about yourself, how you think about relationships and what you want for yourself in the future. So it feel, this feels like breaking free. It feels like you're not trapped. So um, it feels like you found the key to open the gate to get yourself out of there. So and if you look at this, this analogy here, um, what you figured out is that you don't have to kind of break through the gate you can you're actually strong enough and agile agile enough to just jump over the gate so where you thought something was very very difficult to free yourself from a situation again because of something a dynamic that's changed in your life you're now finding it very easy to step out of this caged situation that you have been feeling like that you're in the next card that came up for you was religious factors which is your love life is um, influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So for those of you that are married, that indicates that there is a marriage uh, in place or there is um, something religious that keeps you tied to whatever that is. So that could be something like a spiritual obligation or a spiritual desire to remain partly in that relationship. So this is very a very spiritual card for me. So if there are children involved in your situation with your former partner or whoever that is, that's what this is. You're still tied to them in some way because of religious factors. Uh, you could be married, you could be separated, or you could be tied to them because, um, you know, kind of like spiritually you've made this child or children together and so you're always going to be spiritually tied to this person if there are children involved for some of you uh religious factors indicates um a, a huge difference in culture a huge difference in the way you think about uh your lives and kind of how you want to move forward um here we have flirt and again that energy of somebody else being in your life came out this was um another card that kind of bounced out i mean they all kind of flew out for you taurus but here we show here um expand your light-hearted energy to others so your confidence is building you're you're feeling more free to explore your sexuality to um explore yourself explore yourself <laughs> Taurus, are you exploring yourself? Come on now. Um, this is meant to be a PG kind of a reading. Um, but it shows here that you're flirting. It shows here that you're comfortable flirting. It shows here that as you free yourself, you're coming into an energy where you've been so suppressed on that level, and I mean sexually, uh, for such a long time. And it's coming out in this energy where you're gaining back uh your confidence in that area and that feels very um it feels very light-hearted it feels very innocent and it feels very sweet that is the energy around your cards right here and then we have let go of control issues and so what was happening here with let go of control issues is that um, again, uh, you know, that some of you, this applies to some of you, it doesn't. Some of you, this has to do with figuring out um, parenting, uh, if you have a child or children together and all of those minutia things, right? So letting go of control issues, it's not so much that there is a controlling situation or person trying to control the situation i mean you may be in that dynamic but for the most part what i pick up is that the situation requires a lot of self-control it requires a lot of discipline it requires a lot of understanding uh what needs to happen in order for things to go in a certain direction you can't just willy-nilly cartwheel down the street 
and go for it. So um, let go of control issues uh, indicates that, you know, there, there are situations and people involved here that you've got to plan. The Rumi card over here says, be silent to the knower of all secrets. Might, so that, sorry, be silent so the knower of all secrets might be heard. And in this Rumi card, it says, when you are standing in the middle of the fields of sugar, why not become, why become sour? And so again, there's this amazing energy about you, Taurus, where you're lifting out of a fog. And that's what it feels like to me energetically. In your strength position, this was really interesting to me because I was kind of surprised to see these cards come out in your strength position. We have justice in reverse. And again, there's this theme of kind of like not being able to jump into the next stage of your life when, it can, when, you, when it's about your love life. Um, there is something holding you back. Uh, here we got the justice in reverse and it does feel like there are some legal issues that you have to sort out or there are some and again children are coming up or it could be alimony it could be settlements it could be uh, monies paid through housing it could be all that kind of stuff as you as a couple come apart whether they were married or living together for others of you that are not married and you're single, um, Spirit, can you bring forward the Justice card in reverse? For some of you, it's kind of like the strength has been that you have, what the strength has been is that you have not been dating for a long time because, I mean, shall I say it, Spirit? I want to say it say it they say <laughs> so uh, for many of you you've been social distancing you didn't think it was safe right justice in reverse represents the fact that there is a mandate in place right so whether that be children or if you're looking at that the fact that you're single um, some of you have not really uh, been in a place that you want to risk uh, your health and um, and so you've kind of been adhering to uh, like, what would it mean if you met somebody and then you wanted to like get to know them, get to know their family, get to know their friends and all the, and you want them to get to know your family and friends and things like that. And with social distancing, like it's just, it was too tangled for some of you. So, that, so some of you took a break, but it's in reverse and in the strength position. And so it shows that um, if there's legal issues, they're gonna start moving forward or they're not the obstacle that they were. This is the card that came out really, really strongly for you. Eight of Cups. What this shows here, Taurus, is that whether you are the ducks are aligned ducks. I don't know why I said ducks. I meant to say planets. <laughs> but whether your rubby rubber ducks are aligned or whether it be the planets or whether, you know, the red tape has been sorted out, you have made a decision in your strength position, you're moving towards your happiness. So whatever it is that makes you happy, whether that be a person or the idea of a new relationship or a relationship you're already in, you're leaving behind all the hurt and pain and all the obstacles and you're not allowing things like um, red tape to stop you now from moving forward. I feel like you have um, had your hands tied and your mind tied for a very long time as you sort this out. You're not impulsive, Taurus. You think about things a lot. You're very, very grounded. You're extremely logical and you're the observer. So um, you've got to do things logically, even your heart, even love. And so for you, moving out of this space of leaving behind uh, disappointments, hurt, pain, um, it feels as if you're just moving toward, there is something drawing you in and it is bringing you a lot of happiness. It is bringing you a lot of reprieve. It's giving you a lot of hope. It is helping you to um, see yourself in a different light and you can't help but move towards it and it's sitting in your strength position. 
this energy is so beautiful i wish i could really put it into words or i wish i could just kind of emanate it through the screen and you could see it and feel it not see it because i just showed it to you but you know what i mean you know what i mean taurus queen of swords in the reverse for your challenge uh page of wands in the upright position and um the six, the five of cups in the upright position so this is your challenge your challenge spirit do you want to bring it forward why is the queen of swords in the reverse position here for taurus in the challenge why is the page of wands oh okay thanks um so basically what's happening is there is somebody new here right for those of you that can resonate with that. Um, there is somebody new in your life. It shows it right here. They're a free spirit. They're very different from you. They bring out a whole different side of you. They look at the world very differently than you do. They are, they, they are just a lot of joy and it shows that right here. And so there is a, um, a factor that you're just observing. You remember I said you're the observer, right? So you're, um, you're, looking at them the challenge is is that um <laughs> taurus oh my god so the, <laughs> the challenge is is that okay so let me <laughs> let me change this god around oh my god taurus you're so funny so basically normally right you're logical you're grounded you know anybody coming new into your life anybody that you want to engage with you would be looking um, at that situation from all angles and you would be making a very logical decision. Even though it is your heart, you would make a very logical decision about it. The fact that the Queen of Swords is sitting in the reverse, no matter how logical you try <laughs> and look at this situation, this person that has either come into your life, they're new in your life, or they're about to come into your life, um, they pull you in. So your normal uh, kind of way of functioning and how you would look at things and how you would evaluate things and how you would strategically move forward in a situation, very grounded, very logical, but in love, um, this person doesn't allow you to do that. <laughs> like a magnet Taurus and you can't help it you can't help yourself so that's a challenge the challenge is is you're you're trying to kind of implement your own kind of method of how you normally go about things in regards to love but it ain't working because no matter how logical you try to be um, your heart is opening up and here we have the five of cups and you're letting go of um, disappointment you're letting go of um the challenge is spirit show me that again show it to me again tell me about the five of cups tell me about the five of cups be silent so the knower of all secrets might be heard and the five of cups be silent so the knower of all secrets might be heard in the five of cups tell me about the five of cups in this tell me more bring it through clearly the path has been a long road for you and um you're you're no longer ruminating in your mind you're no longer uh, your, your thoughts aren't running away with you anymore taurus your ideas about this new person or a new relationship that you want or just bringing love into your life and new dynamic you're not you're not um they're not racing thoughts anymore what's happening is that your mind is slowing down your heart is opening up and you um are ready tell me more spirit as much as you're ready to let go of the past and close this chapter of your life, it hurts. It hurts to do it. It hurts that you have to do it. So it, there, there is a part of you that, that a strong part of you that even though you have a pull right here and right here towards the future in regards to love, um, in now that your mind is silent, 
um, be silent so the knower of all secrets might be heard. This may be the first time that you're actually beginning to grieve on a very profound level uh, and let go now, let go. So accepting that the relationship has ended, whatever this past relationship was and um, that had such a profound effect, uh, effect on your life and who you are as a person, even though you're ready to let it go, you're actually in the grieving process over here. And that's a challenge. It, you know you're letting it go. You want to let it go. You are letting it go. It's painful. And that's okay, Taurus. Nothing wrong with that. You know, nothing happens in a straight line in life, does it? And, you know, um, it is, you know, one chapter always overlaps another chapter. And so that's what we see right here. You're getting pulled into the future by what it is that you want, what it is that you're experiencing, this new person or new love or new whatever in your life. It is so mesmerizing to you and so intoxicating to you that you have to just follow the light. And so that means leaving behind the darkness, doesn't it? Look at us Taurus getting all profound. Um, tower in reverse for the outcome. Ten of cups in the upright position in the outcome. Beautiful energy for the outcome. And the hermit in the um, reverse position. Spirit, can you tell me why the tower is here? Why is the tower, why is the tower here? And, um, can you give me can you give me uh one clarity card on the tower i need to understand it you want me to turn it over thank you why is the tower in reverse for the outcome okay for some of you this uh spirit i don't need a clarity card spirit just gave it to me um so for some of you this is going to mean a move this is going to mean movement of some type, but the reason why it's in reverse is because um, it's not happening yet. It's not happening in the month of October. I think you're going into a lot more of the planning phase of it, much more the reality phase of it. Something about it becomes a lot more tangible in the month of October, but I, for, for the most part, I don't see it happening in October only because it's in the reverse position. I also don't see it happening in, in September, but the mind has shifted there because what we have is a Ten of Cups. This is the um, ready for a new life, ready for a new relationship, ready to come together in harmony with somebody. Um, here we have the rainbow, it's acceptance, it's acceptance of you, good, bad, and the ugly. Uh, there, there is, um, you're, you're reaching for um, total, acceptance of who you are you're going to choose um people that come into your life in this next chapter when it comes to love it is very important that it doesn't matter if you have to wait your whole life you are not going to be with anybody that doesn't totally accept you for who you are and doesn't resonate with who you are and so you're showing people who you are and the hermit is out of the reverse position. I don't know when's the last time I had the reverse position for you for the hermit, Taurus. So you're braver because it shows that the, um, the outcome here is that um, whereas before maybe you were more tentative about showing the real you because you were afraid somewhat of rejection or being judged or criticized it shows here that you're coming out of that completely um you know like it or lump it is basically your attitude i think that's a british saying taurus like it or lump it um what it means is that um either you can take me as i am or you can get lost and so you're in that space now a lot more confidence Spirit, do you want to give me, for those of the Tauruses that have somebody in mind, can you tell me some information about this relationship? So I've got the Dirty Tarot here. 
I'm not showing it on camera because sometimes kiddos get hold of their parents' phones and see things that they shouldn't be seeing on YouTube. So these pictures are a little bit naughty. <laughs> so I'm just gonna see, uh, Spirit, can you give me more information here on the Ten of Cups for Taurus? Tell me about the Ten of Cups with the Dirty Tarot. Keep it on the table. Someone go looking for it. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> All right, Taurus. Knight of Chalices. Knight of Cups is basically what this is. Uh, Spirit, give me more. You want me to take those? Keep it on the table. Keep it on the table. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, holy cow, Taurus, you are getting your groove on. <laughs> All right, so we have the <laughs> we have the knight. These cards always make me giggle. You have the Knight of Cups. Um, is this for all Tauruses? Okay, you're thinking about your options. Um, you know what it is that you want. It shows it right here. Um, it feels as if you are not only are you coming into your power Taurus as the person that you are and really stepping into who you are it feels like who you attract to you is looking for you that is what's coming out in this Knight of Cups card here so it's a mutual attraction it's a mutual reciprocal relationship now we also have the lovers clarifying that and we have the wheel of fortune and so i mean i don't know how much better you can get we, to clarify the ten of cups um we have you uh really feeling um good about the choice choices that you're making really feeling like um a big uh part of your being is healing from this experience with the lover's card and with the wheel of fortune it shows great success here in exploring all avenues of love that you want to explore i mean it is stunning outcome in the ten of cups energy right here so if you have somebody um if you're already in a relationship um this relationship is going to get stronger and it is going to be extremely um, spirit. What's the word? Uh, it's going to bring a lot of abundance. It's going to take you in a different direction in your life. So spirit is saying, go with the flow. Um, uh, the lovers here, spirit, tell me more about uh, the people that are not in a relationship, but maybe have somebody in mind. You're attracting in who it is that you need and you want. Um, again, Spirit is showing me here in the Knight of Cups card here that you uh, are attracting in the exact person um, that needs you, right? So you're attracting in, you're being you, and because you're being you, that the what you're attracting in, you're eliminating the people that are not drawn to you but what is shining quite brightly is the one that is for you and that is all over this last outcome of the reading and so um i just want to finish the reading with the Rumi card which is empathy attracts us to each other not words and spirit makes me feel here that as you go through uh, from now to the end of October your heart is going to be opening up more there's going to be more actions that are going to help you to move in the direction that you need to move in you're going to move there easily and effortless effortlessly and it does feel like an end of a chapter Taurus it does feel like an end of a chapter it does feel like for those of you that want love that don't have somebody in mind yet it is definitely around the corner um, you've gone through your healing process you're going to continue to change perspective 
Spirit makes me feel over the next 18 months about your life, about yourself, about what you want. And it's really gonna go in a different direction. It's gonna go in a direction that you never dreamed of. Taurus, that is your love reading and I hope it helps. Talk to you soon.